Good evening and welcome to Tinkering with Etkelar. Last year, when I was restoring my SX64, I realized that quite a lot of stuff around the C64 was going for rather cheap on eBay. So I took the opportunity and ordered all the nifty stuff I couldn't have as a kid. Yay for being a responsible adult! So, here's one more restoration from that series. The Commodore MPS803 is a dot matrix printer with 7 pins and a serial port interface compatible with the C64. Originally it was available with a tractor feed as well, but this auction did not include that. So, single sheet printing only. The disassembly was simple enough. No hidden screws and just some glued cardboard. Here I took the case for a nice wash in the sink, which was way too dark to film. Sorry. I also put some oil in all the moving parts. Putting the printer back together was a bit more complicated than expected. One washer in the ribbon drive mechanism had multiplied when I wasn't looking. Soldering the new caps was a breeze too. Checking the size of the new ones before final assembly, because matching electrical characteristics doesn't always mean matching dimensions. The ribbon that came with the printer was dried up. No surprise, really. Trying the test page function without a working ribbon, it should at least make the typical weep noise. But no. The print head moves, the paper feeds line by line, but none of the pins seem to work. Turns out that I forgot to connect the flat flex cable that connects the print head to the main PCB. Oops. At least it was an easy fix. I tried to soak the dry ribbon in a bit of stamp ink. Yuck! Nope, not working. That old ribbon is more like a raincoat now. It repels fluid. What came as a surprise, however, was that you can still buy new ribbons for this printer. A few days later I could finally run the test page again, with ink this time. So here we go, a working printer for my 8-bit computer collection. That's it for today, see you next time!